welcome welcome back to this channel this is unfiltered forex with me clement and i am here to talk about well the last part of this series the fall of the behavior change this is the fourth law make it satisfying so far we've talked about law one through to law number three and number one if you remember was about make it visible number two make it attractive and number three make it easy now we are at number four make it satisfying so let's go we are more likely to repeat a behavior if the experience is satisfying the human brain has evolved to prioritize immediate rewards over delayed rewards this is where we can talk about instant gratification versus delayed gratification as you know most people or rather the human brain naturally gravitates towards the options that bring instant gratification so the cardinal rule of behavior change what is immediately rewarded is repeated what is immediately punished is avoided this one's easy when all the other three laws have been applied effectively one of the most satisfying feelings is the feeling of making progress. This is where habit trackers come in. A habit tracker is anything that measures whether you did a habit or rather your progress. Just habit trackers provide clear evidence of progress. And that feeling of making progress is satisfying enough to keep you going. <laughs> in trading, journaling is the ultimate habit track there is no other way you can track your progress in journaling better than there's no other way you can track your progress in trading better than journaling yeah this is why many times i insist and i tell people journaling is what is going to make sure you get the most out of your trading activities journaling is the thing that's going to make you see the fastest progress within a short period well short enough sensible enough yeah you don't have to trade for five years you don't have to trade for seven years if you if you journal your progress consistently just for two or one year you will have seen a significant improvement almost or maybe you might already have become a consistently profitable trader just through journaling your jo in your journal, at the end of every day, week, month, record your progress and describe how well you did the new habit you are trying to start. The anticipation of writing something positive about yourself is the thing that will keep your subconscious gravitate towards only doing the good trading activities you are supposed to do. Later trying to maintain later trying to maintain the already existing positive image you have of yourself is what will keep you on the right track so as you can see it's like two stages here when you expect to write something positive about yourself you are more likely to do the good things because you don't want to to write about yourself and your trading activities and write that you did something foolish you did something you were not supposed to do so yeah the anticipation of writing something positive about yourself is what will keep you on track in the beginning then later when you have already established a system of habits that you know are good for you and you're trading that image trying to maintain the already existing positive image you have of yourself is what will keep you on the right track yeah for this one you're just going to have to try so you can understand this better okay so for trading usually you have to visualize your progress that's the best way to um have a habit tracker visualizing your progress visualizing in that even in your journal if your journal is an exercise book for example if you start by writing stuff on page one page two page three slowly consistently just every day every day or every week every week you will start looking back and seeing 
you have come a long way. You started your day one and your day 100 are two planets apart. So that's that feeling of progress is really is really good to keep you going. Yeah. So personally, I started journaling even before I came across this book called Atomic Habits. And then when I read it, that's when I discovered that what I was doing is uh, is habit tracking. And it has really helped me a lot in this thing. So, a habit tracker is like looking at a mirror. This is a very important note. You need to listen. A habit tracker is like looking at a mirror. If you stand too close to the mirror, you will see all the blemishes and make you lose sight of the bigger picture. When you miss journaling for a day, that's not too bad. And then when you scrutinize your progress for one day too much, that might be fatal. It's not good. But as long as in the long run, as long as you are constantly evaluating your your former self versus your current self, you will see where you're going wrong, you'll see where you need to improve, and you will manage to keep track of the bigger picture while still Im- focusing on improving yourself. So yeah, that's it for happy tracking. Inversion of the fourth law. I said the fourth law is make it satisfying. So the fourth law is make it unsatisfying, the inversion. This is when you want to break a bad habit. So an accountability partner can create immediate cost to an action. Naturally, we don't want others to have a lesser opinion of us. A habit contract can be used to add a social cost to any behavior. It makes the cost of violating your promises public and painful. This year, I made a commitment to make all my trading activities public. I signed up to be a provider for copy trading services. And then, well, luckily, I'm making this episode at the end of the year, so I can just tell you my progress so far. What happened is, um, yeah, for the most part, it was good. Everything was okay, but the brokers, the companies, yeah, it's not a very efficient system but i found one i think i'll try it in the next year but currently but the results are amazing it's um knowing that i would suffer consequences for my bad trading habits other than losing money it made me more vigilant in my trading yeah this way my clients or rather the guys who are copy trading for me they are my accountability partners unknowingly because if I make a mistakes, if I make mistakes, they're going to demand an explanation as to what the hell happened and their trust in me will be eroded. So due to my natural or rather the human is natural for all humans, due to the natural s- state of natural desire to be accepted by others yeah this method was very effective to make me stay in line yeah this method also makes the habit of good trading rewarding because when i trade well when my trade when i'm managing my trades well i bring in profits and i get profits for the accounts and i get commissions so therefore the habit of good trading is immediately rewarded and bad trading is punished another way to to set up this thing of accountability partners is joining a trading community and um like we talked about in the second law joining a trading community and the group members there are your accountability partners such that if your work is inconsistent They might point it out and tell you, you're not doing good. You can't be this inconsistent and expect to see results. So yeah, those guys are your accountability partners. And they will help you when you are trying to get better in trading. So there's an African proverb here. 
if you want to go fast go alone but if you want to go far go together so now let's do a summary of this whole series we talked about the habit loop which is q craving response reward and from the habit loop that's where we get the four laws of behavior change which is the first one make it obvious second one make it attractive third one make it easy and the fourth one make it satisfying and of course when you're talking about how to break a bad habit you just do the inverse of the follows you make it invisible make it unattractive make it difficult make it unsatisfying so following these four simple rules you can simultaneously create bad habits as you try to replace them you can break bad habits as you try to replace them with the good ones it works like magic yeah it's going to help you a lot so here are some additional tips for you when you are applying these follows your goals should be realistic don't try to change too much too quickly like we talked about in the third law you should make it easy start with small achievable goals and gradually build up from that second one is be patient it takes time to break bad habits the same way it's going to take time to build good ones because the bad habits as we saw they follow the law of instant gratification bad habits and the good ones they have the effect of delayed gratification so it's going to take time you have to be patient for your mind to adjust to consider to prioritize the habits with delayed gratification so don't get discouraged if you don't see results immediately just keep pushing and eventually you will find the goals you will achieve your goals the one is having a support system a support system is something to, that can make a big difference for you finding a mentor or joining a trading community where you can show your, your ideas get feedback and generally make the new trading habits you are trying to create make them come easier yeah so work with dedication apply these four simple laws and you will achieve or rather you will be closer to trading success that's it for me have a lovely day week month year have a good life